Hello, everybody. Kathy Arbor here. And we will be starting in just a couple minutes. I'm just waiting for some more people to come in and then we will start some mixed media. Thought it would be fun to finish these cards and put some uh, papers, paint, whatever on them and see what we can uh, make up. Hey, Dot. You're the first one here. How's your week been going? Fairly cool here, but we're going to get some plus <laughs> temperatures for a couple days, which will be nice. Hi, Nashua. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. Artful. Jean. Hey, Janet. Gail, Joan, awesome. Um, I'm going to be doing some mixed media today. I haven't done that for a while. So I thought I'd probably play with these leftovers and see what we can dream up with this stuff here. <laughs> I might just pen and ink them. I might throw some collage on them. I don't know, maybe some paste um stencils maybe we'll see what we can dream up so everyone have a good week so far i haven't put this in my book yet my little bunny <laughs> i think he turned out cute we could actually use this in my diary too i could right in here that would be kind of cool i did get some more books uh, this one is actually an old one but it is a really nice one um betridge jane betridge she uses a uh, very fluid uh it's almost mixed media too because she puts different um like fabric in hers or she even uses um what are they called silver dollars <laughs> she likes a lot of texture beads she uses beads lace seeds that type of thing oh hi eileen you got this one too <laughs> surprise surprise um, so I thought maybe we could play a little. I don't think I have any watercolor ground medium, though. I'm pretty sure I don't. But, yeah, we could make some buildings on ours, use some stencils. Um, we can still try this, too. I really like those. I think they're cool. She uses a lot of inks, too. Um, but I really like her. She actually has another book. And, of course, I've ordered it. <laughs> so you'll see that probably next week. Um, I really love this. This green and blue with the white. I think that's cool. So maybe we'll try that one. Hi, Elaine. Michelle, oh really? Uh, I guess so, because the watercolor ground is what makes the um, pigment release. So if you dried it right away, it wouldn't do its thing. Does that make sense? Hi, Shauna. Uh, Carla, Jilly, Kim, Jersey Crafter, Kat. Good to see you all. 
Are you all ready to do some uh, mixed media? Anyone going to play along? I find for me anyways, uh, a lot of the mixed media that I do, it's kind of um, intuitive. Um, it kind of, I look at it and then I decide what next step to take. I don't plan mixed media. But I do love it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Eileen, you're a troublemaker. Sheesh. Yes, yeah, very intuitive. Um, very loose. I love this. This is really neat. You might be able to do one of these on there. Let's make a water scene. That might be an idea right there. We could probably do one of these. Um... Yeah, salt too. She uses a lot of salts. Acrylic paint, flicking acrylic paint. That's cool. Splattering. That's beautiful. I like that. So I like um, very muted backgrounds, not um, uh, detailed and then just pick up a, a small area to put detail in it. I think that just looks beautiful. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And we'll, maybe we'll try this one. That's neat. You can tell it's got the ground in it because of the separation in it. Well, there was something I was thinking about. What was it? I wish I got to start writing things down. <laughs> and I thought, I'm going to try that. Now I can't think of what it was. It had to do with alcohol. It, um, yeah, alcohol ink, but not used in the traditional way. Now, what was it? Um, oh, yeah, dropping it wet into wet watercolor. Alcohol ink. Thought that might give it kind of a really neat look. Janet, you don't have this one? You would like this one. It's a nice book. She has a few DVDs out too that are good. Um, I just like this type of this work type of work. So, and then I have this one I haven't done anything with. This is an older book, but I do, again, it's that, I just love this look, this texture, and maybe even try some of this. This almost looks like a real uh, leaf. I bet it is. Again, the loose watercolor. Um, the line work, I like that. Um, let's see. I think she uses a lot of different, just not watercolor. She uses uh, all kinds of um, grounds and um, acrylic mixed with watercolor. Um, it's very colorful. That's what I like too. Like, look at that. That's gorgeous. And then she, she must have used a palette knife for part of the mountain. Again, it's the blurred out, but just certain areas that are detailed. I, th I really like that. That's beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So that could be many things. Could be a daisy, could be a sunflower, could be um, a dandelion. Very, very nice. And she, this person, um, yes, he's got a new one out and I ordered it. <laughs> 
<laughs> You'll see that next week, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what can I do? I'm a mixed media artist. I, I can't stick with one thing. <laughs> I have to bounce back and forth. I get bored of doing one thing for a long period of time. <laughs> Yeah, Eileen. Yeah, they don't look as flat when you use the uh, different mediums and paper and all kinds of good stuff. So we can try some of these too, I thought. And I got another book from the book depository. A dollar and then shipping. So the shipping was, it's a used book. But I like these books because of the, it's like a sketchbook, botanical sketchbook. So this was 1979. Um, see, gorgeous pictures. Now you could either cut this book up and use it in things or use it as a reference. Um, many, many different kinds of stuff. I even like her writing. But it's got lots of pictures about her cottage. Um, so you could use this actually for a journal. Just, you know, white out with gesso the uh, written areas and then just use it. That would be pretty. Yeah, so worth looking on uh, Book Depository, definitely. Um, then you remember the artist, where did I put it? This one, well, she had a black and white one. I love her work. And she's Canadian, she's from Toronto. <laughs> so the, these are uh, just basically her journals. So she's got this one, the provincial, or Proverbial, proverbial art journal, white, black, and a bit of red. And then she's got little quotes. And I like what she did on the bottom, too. It's a really neat book. She's got an, a really interesting style of uh, pen work and in the um, color. The quotes are really cool, too. And a lot of them are hers, her quotes. So I thought that was a cute book. It's all on Amazon. Always support my locals. And then, okay, now I don't know if you, did you get this? <laughs> Janet, did you get it? Did you order it? It's a beautiful book. And it was out for a while. Like, I didn't see this before. Um, 2017 was was uh, the second run. But look. So we got to do some of the stuff in here. It has beautiful, beautiful watercolors. Name of the abstract book again. Which one? Um, where did I just put it? This one? Or this one? She has another one, and he has another one. Oh, you got it, Kat, and you loved it? It's gorgeous. I'm just saying. It's a beautiful book. And it's, um, again, it's, it's similar to her one of her other books where 
She um, tells you about the different um, line work and then different types of watercolor techniques. Um, keeping a sketchbook journal. And then she gets into different types. So this is the, uh, like, isn't that gorgeous? The textures. And then she tells you how she did each one of those, each one of these things in here. So you could actually do this by these instructions. Hey, Patty. Oh, yes. Yes, you need your art sanity break. <laughs> Everybody does. The creative break. So, you know, you could really look, look at that. And she tells you how to do it. And she even gives you a line drawing. So, there we go. You got to try that, right? The mushroom one. So we, we're definitely going to do some of these. Definitely. Right up my alley. <laughs> I love the nature stuff. Seas, tropicals, pools. Like tons of, and it's a fairly thick book. It's a beautiful book. Now this was cool. She she put on a, a thick layer of sepia ink, I think it was, and then she dropped the watercolor. No, was it watercolor? It was either watercolor or um, let's see, it's in here somewhere. Went on to wet wash with yellow ochre, burnt umber, and orange, textured with brown ink. Cool. Rock salt texture technique. So that'd be really large pieces of like rock salt. But I was wondering if you put acrylic, um, or not acrylic, alcohol ink on it. I wonder if it would do the same type thing and spread out. So we'll have to try that. Love it. And then fields and flowers, butterflies, birds. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And I like that she gives you a drawing. So anyone that doesn't want to draw their own stuff. These rocks look like the real thing. You'd swear that was a photograph. <laughs> you need a reason, Janet? <laughs> I don't give reasons anymore. I just go ahead and buy it. <laughs> It makes me happy. So beautiful, beautiful book. I am not at all upset with this one. It's just perfect for all skill levels. <laughs> yep it's only me that I have to answer to so <laughs> so I thought I would do something with these some of them I might put some more paint on see what we get that one was done um, that one was cool the sky There's what needs to be done. That one's cool. And this is the, the leftovers of that. <laughs> the, the journal cover. Now we could add stuff to that too. 
Um, there's another one, the Aurora Northern Lights. There's another, see the blooms in the back here? And then you just put the trees on. That was fun. There's So I've got quite a few here. I could do something with it. Now I might have to put some um, white maybe on those. There's the rocks and the trees. Hey, <laughs> Jan. Uh, I do the same thing, Kathy, but buy it. Can't take them. That's right. Can't take it with you. So maybe we'll enjoy it. <laughs> Should you buy only permanent ink pads? Depends on what you want to do. Um, myself, I have permanent ink pads because in mixed media, you might want to, you think you're done, you might want to um, put some ink down. And then last minute you're thinking, oh, darn, I wish I hadn't have done that because I can't go over it with wet now. So, Really, get the archival ink pads instead, because then you don't have to worry about anything. I try to stick with mostly um, permanent archival and inks, and um, I don't like the pencils that move. Um, most of my stuff, the only thing that, that does is the watercolor. Um, but I, the, the way I use the watercolor, I don't have to put it on top of anything. It's usually the first thing I put down. So if I wanted to, I could spray it. Um. I mostly use permanent ink. Yeah. Yep. So that's the way I roll anyways. So it's up to you. Some people like to have it move, but I, I don't. <laughs> I don't like those kinds of surprises. I want to be able to, to um, add something and not worry about it. Oh, yeah, I hadn't finished this one. Forgot about that one. All right, so let's see what we can do. Now we can use acrylic, gouache, whatever. We can do some um, I don't know why I even put those on. Oh, yeah, it's done. Um, I think I'll just continue this with some watercolor. And we'll add some snow, maybe. Let's get some purple. Just add some shadowing around it. Maybe it'll have some darker areas under the trees here. So I'm just using whatever paint I had left over on the well. I'm not worried. I like the I like loose painting. Uh, I really like the look of it, um, especially with these things.
Maybe it has some. Okay. So let's take these off. I guess I better heat it up so I can take it off. Hi, Kevin. So I'm just heating the tape up so it's a little easier to slide off. All right, then let's take my uh, that one pal no let's see my palette knife if I can find it. I'm not sure where I put it. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Where did I put the... Oh, there it is. Okay. Nice little palette knife. I'm going to get this black color going again. And I'm just going to scrape it on the edge here. And some more. Just want a bit of, you know, how they have the marks of black. So just use your palette knife and you can just scrape it. Then get a nice juicy amount of black. You want it fairly thick. Don't want it too thin. Put it on your, and then you can make some tree limbs. So you just press down.
some more in here. There we go. So just some, when you do it with that, it, it, it looks a little more um, rough looking, but you can get a really thin line with it too. This is kind of cool. So let's dry that. You can use it for leaves too if you want. Um, That's fun. Now we could put a little bit of sh uh, sh shadow or maybe even sunlight on one side. So let's put a little bit of yellow. Just a smidge. And we'll just go down one side here. Maybe put a little bit of brown in there. Depending on the type of birch it is, sometimes there's some brown in it. Um, sometimes they're kind of reddish. usually a little bit darker on the bottom too, the black. So I don't mind it. Mixing in there. Cass, what type of black is that on the pout knife? That was... M. Graham Lamp Black. All right, so we'll let that dry. Maybe we'll go back and put some leaves in with something else. Um, what can we do with this? Hmm. Well, I guess we could try. Now I can I can use um paint too. Let's see. Um cream. I'm going to put some paint on it. Hi, Mary. <laughs> I'm just going to add a little bit and water it down of this green and aqua color. And get my acrylic brush out. <sighs> Let's see. I'll just get a filbert here. And 
spray it. Then I'm going to let it blend in. I don't want it really strong. Kind of muted looking. Dry that. All right, and then let's get a pen, pen paint pen. Blah. Let's see. So I got a Sharpie um, acrylic paint pen here. I'm shaking it. And... Let's make a bunch of dots. In a circle, roughly. And then let me shake it more. And I could probably use a pencil crayon too in this and it would work. So make one of those um, dandelion seed heads. Is where the little tufts of um, fuzz are. These are just quick little ATCs, whatever you want to use them for. You could actually, they look really cute in a frame, a small picture frame, like a four by or a set five by seven picture frame. And then you just um, have, an, have them in a grouping. And they look cute. Or you could have a bunch of them in a grouping in a bigger frame. Then maybe, let's see. I don't 
one in here. And this, I think I'm going to make, you know how after the um, seeds are all gone, you have a little um, part left that, and it looks like it's got pores <laughs> in it. So let's, and we can always color this. Um, stem with something else. Okay. We'll see. Let's finish this up. We have to give a little depth. Let me heat set that. Hey Judy. So then I think I will use some more watercolor and let's see what can we do kind of a yellowy green color maybe uh, and we'll just Put it over top of the acrylic and the acrylic will still show through. And then we'll do a little bit of a darker green. Down here. And get a little bit of a darker green just to give it some um, shadow. You could use pencil crayons too for this. Doesn't have to be. I'm just going to put some extra darkness down here. Okay. Maybe a few more coming off of it. So then we'll dry it and then take off the paper. So just play with these um, backgrounds. Use them for getting your imagination going. Sometimes you'll see stuff in them, sometimes you won't. And if you don't, use them for something else. Now that bled, but it's cute. All right, that's one. What could we do with this one?
kind of reminds me of a water way. We could just have this as a piece of um, abstract art too. That might be kind of cool. Let's try that. Abstract art. A rainbow. Mm. I'm going to try abstract. See what I get. Get some stencils out. Maybe put some... this piece Use some of this paint. See what we get. Maybe some black. Oh, wait a minute. I got an idea. <laughs> Let's put this over here. much but you never know okay Let's see if you can line this back up yep right about there and get some black or Blue, maybe? Maybe try blue. Got enough black on there. Let's see what the blue does for in these areas. Cool. And get my brush. I'm going to put some over here. And put this back on. 
and take it away. See what it does. I just get a faint. Then I think I'll take black. bit of black another sponge oh I could use pan pastels too and then there that's cool. Maybe we could put some birds on it. What? Why? Why don't you want to see my stencils? <laughs> I got some cool ones. Okay, let's try that. Oh yeah, it would. Reminds me of under of undersea cave. Yeah, maybe it should have bubbles on it. Okay, let's see. I get one with some circles. Uh, so I got. I know I got bubbles somewhere. A little bit too small. I want one with varied bubbles. There it is. So if we do, maybe, what color? Um, metallic, maybe? Gold? Let's see what I got. Oh, I can use these. Let's see, we have, oh, here we go. Um, we have white coarse pearl medium. Let's see what that does. I haven't even used this one. And then we can put it through the stencil. Okay. And my where's 
my there we are. One of these. Very sparkly. So we'll have a few down here. I'm not sure how much these are going to show. I might have to put rings around them or something. Doesn't look like it. It's kind of transparent. Might have to uh, let's see. Well, there's a few. <sighs> you have to put rings around them, I think. Please show your stencil storage book, please. Okay, just a minute. Okay. It's just a photo album. That's all it is. This isn't the best one. I'm going to change it because there were... I had to cut them so they kind of just slide in pockets. So it's just, these are all small ones. Um, but I did get some more sleeves and I'm going to um, do them differently. But still in, a, in this type of, for the small ones anyways. I did get some of the J plastic J rings that you can stick onto your um, stencils. And I have a clothes drying rack that's got wires on it. So I'm going to use that to put my big stencils on. Because I don't want to, I, I don't mind this sliding things in and out. That's not bad. But I don't like the big ones because it's hard putting them in sleeves. So I'd rather have them um, with little hooks on them so I could um, just take them out, un like unhook them, and then just hook them back up. I'm too lazy. <laughs> That's my stencils, my small ones. So let's uh, get a pen here. I think I got one in here. Oh, is that one? Let's see if I can find a white pen or pencil. There's white pencil. I'll use that. It's a white colored pencil, Prisma. Uh, how the heck is she getting? Oh, we got somebody that's bothering. Okay, so we'll just, um, because this is craft paint, you can go around the edges of the um, bubbles with white. This is the craft paint has the uh, tooth. 
and you'll be able to see the little bit of glimmer from that pearl pastel. Or you could use um, interference paint, whatever you got. You just play. So we could still add to that if you wanted to, or you could just leave it like that. Um, I could put black, maybe. Around, hmm, let's put some black in here. So we could have, draw the lines where these came from, if you wanted to. Um, let's see, one down there maybe, Depends how much time you want to spend doing this, really. It's endless what you can do. Yeah. Or you could use this as, you know, doodling area too. So you just play. Play, see what you can do. Get your mind dreaming up things. And that's the way of getting a really good imagination going. See what you can get. Okay. So that one's done. We'll take this off. See what it looks like. I think we could probably put some more darker marks for the grass. Could even take it into the Extend it out. Some more stars in, a little more brighter. Maybe make this a little bit brighter. Squiggle it. Um, what can we do with this one? Hmm. Let's do one with the. This is interesting. Could be another abstract with maybe. Reminds me of fire. Hmm. 
What do you guys see? Maybe a morning sunrise, northern lights. Fairy forest, yeah. That kind of looks like a sunrise to me coming up. This almost looks like a tree already here. So let's uh, finish the tree. Just a bunch of squiggles with your pen. Sometimes you don't need a whole lot, just just a tad. Um, maybe some rocks in here. Let's see. Maybe on a cliff. Get just a bit of white here. Highlight some of the tops of the rocks. Maybe we'll have water there. Yeah, sunrise. You know, it doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit to suggest. There we go. So you can use pencil crayons. You can use anything you want on these. This is an interesting one. What do you see in this one? I see a flower. This looks like it would be Not sure about this though. Although if I put it this way, it kind of looks like a landscape. Let's see what it looks like here. That looks like a landscape too. That look almost looks like the sun coming up. So
Let's see what we can do with some paint. So I'm gonna use my black. And I think I'm gonna have And this here kind of looks like water. Hmm, let's see, maybe some land here. This is just acrylic paint. I have some trees in here. Not sure yet. white maybe um, let's see if I can put some clouds in it uh, I need to go thanks for coming Mary so I want a fairly dry brush I want to make some Scumbling clouds here. I'm going to put it upside down for a minute because the uh, clouds would be. I'm going to put some more color in them from the sunrise. Or it might take the color of the watercolor, you never know. Sunrise, the clouds get real nice and pink. Let's get some pinky orange. Mm. 
I don't know if you saw my Twitter or no, it was Instagram. My sunrise I had the other night or other day. It was gorgeous. It was so vibrant. Bit of pink. A little bit of white to go with that. And we'll just do the bottoms of the clouds. Throw a little bit of yellow in. So you can make it as <laughs> detailed as you want. This is when I like to play with stuff. Because you can... You can get some really neat ideas when you do um, experimenting with the paint and paper and put a little in here. Mute it out a little bit. This will be the sky. I'm just going to put a little bit of a line. Hmm. Just right there. So I can see where my water edge is. And I think I'm going to color that sun a little bit orangier. Maybe with a bit of pink. There. It's not really showing how bright it is on, looks paler for you guys, but. Maybe we should dry brush. Hmm. White, maybe. I brushed a little bit of sparkle. All right. 
right. Now, what about this one? What do you see? Let's see, maybe we could do, look at some of these here. Could we add? See, that's even cool. This one here, it's got a little house in the background. They made it valleys. <laughs> Let's see. I love that. Could be. A bunch of flowers on the bottom here. Ah, uh, plain white. Uh, blue spotted flamingo. <laughs> Joyce. <laughs> Field of what? Of wheat and corn. Thanks, Vaughn. Yeah, that could be wheat or corn. Hmm. We put it this way. Could be water. It's a sepia pen, maybe. Let's see. Oh, here's an orange pen. Could do another abstract. Desert, yeah. Okay, we could put, let's see, maybe some wheat heads on here. And we could, let's try, um, some rocks maybe, pebbles. What else? What could we put in there? Maybe just some rocks. Um, could you Mix some
smear it. Don't know what I'm doing. Just playing. Let's dry that. My pen. These could be also just bunches of uh, brush in uh, tumbleweed. <laughs> there you go. Tumbleweed. Just tumbleweed. You can add some more. Grass is in here. So it's just a bunch of uh, could be a desert. Okay, let's take the you just don't know what you're gonna get. This one. one in here that we were going to try. Let's see. guys. Where's this one? Beach. I 
think it needs a house. Maybe that one just needs a little house. So, um, I'm going to use some paper. Let's see what I can find here. Some of my scrapbook paper. Blue. Where did I put my blue? Oh, there it is. Well, I guess I should put that on with matte medium, though. I'm just going to put her down. Like so. Could do it kind of a wonky house, maybe. Mm. Do I want a short roof? Or here, and then. What else could we put here? I think this is a, a little <laughs> cabin by the water.
little shack. And maybe shoreline. So it's dawn. Maybe a little bit of darker for the maybe they'll have a dock. Like that it needs to be shorter. Let's try it. All right. Maybe posts up here. And got to give it my boat. Here. <laughs> Cute. 
gotta have seagulls too. Let's put some seagulls in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got to do something with this spooky one here. Oh, I got some paint on it. Now what am I going to do? Hmm. What to do with the spooky one? Maybe that one can be no, oh, gonna have to gonna have to think of something to use that blob for. Hmm. Or color it black. Yeah. Let's color it black and make a bunny. <laughs> That's the best thing I can do. If you can't think of anything else, you can always make a bunny. Little bunny sitting down. Or I could have a cat. Let's do a cat. Leers. There. Little cat. <laughs> Fix to my boo boo. Now, what is the cat doing? Hi, Susan. Hi, CB. What should, what should the cat be doing? He's outside, staring at the moon. Yep, does call me. <laughs> He's staring at the moon. Cat is watching a gondola robot <laughs> looking at his acreage. <laughs> yeah, they do when they're in heat. That looks like it's floating on a cloud. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Or, or it could be um, Let me think. We could just put a halo on him. <laughs> He's in cat heaven. Let's 
CB dot <laughs> waiting for his BFF, his little rabbit friend. Um, put a big pack of cat on here. <laughs> He's on the he's on the prowl. What can we do? Foggy night. Cat is singing good night, Eileen. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't want to wreck it because I kind of like it. <laughs> Cat busters. <laughs> Well, that's a good idea. Could have a little um, graveyard. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll put... Uh, See, uh, little stone pillars here, the gates to the graveyard. Kind of spooky. And then maybe some creepy trees right here.
see. Let's see if this, this will move. It might. I just want to fog this up a little bit. Yeah, it's moving a bit. Oh, I know what I can do. <laughs> um, right about here. Fog this out. I think he needs to be a little bit more on the road. And then...
Yeah. <laughs> Spooky. He doesn't want to go up there. Fog's rolling in and he's scared. <laughs> See, you got to make a story. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be anything. It was just a tree. You got to have a story with it. <laughs> what else we got here? Mm. There's this one. This looks like fire to me. I don't know. This would be a kind of a tough one. Don't know. Might have to think about this one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the gate. It's it's one of those uh, invisible gates. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we did. <laughs> okay, so we've done the spooky little fishing hut. Just a wheat field. Um, sunset or sunrise, depending on what you want to <laughs> see. Another little... Could be a sunrise, could be uh, Ouroboros. There's the moon. A little bit of uh, abstract art. Now I could make an abstract art one. And there's the flowers, the tree. Oh, I had one on the back. And I haven't done anything with this one. This one could be poppies too, like the blue poppies or bluebells or something. Um, yeah, let's make this one a modern design. So. And this is the last one. And then I gotta go. Is my little munchers upstairs are starting to complain. Let's see what I got here. We have that might be cool. Or that one. Ooh, I got an idea. That would be cool for hmm. Thinking of a these look like um what do you call them? Maples. So let's try that. Do a reverse. Uh, where, there it is. Put a Viking on it. <laughs> I gotta get drawing again. 
haven't drawn in a while. Do some more Vikings. edge like that Then, oh, I know what I'm going to do. That, oh, where did I put those stencils with the Chinese lettering? Um, Put some of this on. In gold, maybe? Right on the bottom, or maybe... Have I got it right side up? I never know. <laughs> like right there. Or a big one. What do you think? Whoops. 
do some gold. What do you think, guys? A little bit of gold. Should I have the bigger script or the smaller script? I think I'll do that. Here. I think that's all it needs, or maybe I can do the edges. Like that. Thanks, Debbie. Now we could, uh, you could outline bits and pieces with a gold pen, maybe that would kind of look cool, or just leave it like that. So when you don't know what to do with them, just do some stencil over it and um, reverse. I want to try something. I remember a while ago. I'm just going to use this. Um, I think it was this paint. If you add enough water to it, it bleeds aqua. Pretty sure this is the one. Uh, where's my brush? Ooh, where did I put my brush? Oh, there it is. Pretty sure it was this one. If it's not, well. Yes, it is this one. Yeah. So if you were to put this on a really wet watercolor paper, I bet it would bleed out better. Let's see? Oh, you probably can't see it. It's starting to get an aqua hue to it. If it's really wet, it bleeds. Let's see. I'm going to spray this. Let's see. So it's good and wet. And then I'm going to stencil it while it's wet. Let's see what happens. This is how you learn.
This is the ear dyes bronze fine. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it's bleeding. So I imagine if you let it dry, eventually would bleed out. So that's interesting. Yeah, it's getting more of a must have some kind of um you know how your paints can what patty was doing with her um antiquing paint to for it to go green and blue they must have some of that in this here because um that looks cool can you see it Let me darken the camera a little bit so you can see it. There. See the green? So it's really cool. And if uh, you have a rough roll, this is uh, smooth. Um, if you had a nice uh, rough watercolor, you'd probably see the, blue, the um, green in it more. And if you leave it, because it seems to be getting darker where it's uh, bleeding. I'm going to leave it and I'll show it to you next time. That's neat. I like how that does that. I forgot about that because I had done, oh gosh, this is years and years and years ago. Um, I think it was Life Book we, we did it, used it for this purpose. So it has to have quite a bit of water on it for it to bleed. That's cool. All right. So if you guys have any suggestions for next week, put it in the comments below. Um, I've had a few people comment on what they would like to, if they were going to take a class, what they would want to take. So this is going to help me in um, knowing what's needed in the art world by um, people. So if you could please comment what you would like as far as if you wanted to learn something, what would it be? And if you could leave it down below, that would be great. And uh, yeah, this is, I go, I give my last, delivery on the first week of February and that'll be my last day for work <laughs> so I gotta get some classes going <laughs> and uh, I don't know and two would you guys like um, like a patreon thing where do you see something new every week or would you like something like a class that you pay for um, and, that, and that's it? Okay.
So have a good week, everyone, and stay creative. Get your stuff out. Throw on some paint, see what you see in it, and do some stuff. Like, th these are just um, out of nothing, really. So, you know, um, adventure into some um, abstract art. I love that. I think it looks cool. So we'll see you. Um, I'm not sure who's on tonight. I can never keep up with everybody. Um, so we'll see you next week, maybe on the weekend too, depending on um, if I get my work done. And we'll see you next week. So have a good creative week, everyone. Talk to you later.